color commentary. Color commentary. What is love? Sometimes I have a real hard time saying the word, I like you and I love you. I do not want it to be misunderstood. So the other day when, um, so the other day when uh, 100, you know, they have 100 is a movie, right? 100, 100. When they say, what is love and what is beauty in it? It's crazy. I bought this coffee. It said, Otro Mundo, the other world. When I was working in the Mexican fields this summer, the lady at the field said, you are from the Otro Mundo. What is love? What is compassion? What is understanding? The question is, that is the answer. The understanding and the compassion, the feeling from inside, the gentle freedom that we feel when we see, when we smell, when we hear, the vibration, the aggravation of sights and sounds, the feelings of temperatures, the screeching, the scraping of a shovel, the beauty of smell and sound. We come into a world, we come into the world, and we learn to hear. Or is it what we hear that touches our heart? From where and how? Do you believe anybody that hears crying doesn't actually feel the real cry without ever hearing a word? You hear someone cry, you hear a squeak, you hear a scream. Right away, you know from beneath your heart the actuality of the feeling. Tetragrammatron, why are we here? How do we learn to feel? Who built us to feel? Well, if we could not feel, it would break. If we heard the wrong sound, we would not move, get out of the way, or be aware of the actuality unless we heard the words spoken in the languages we understand, and that language is the vibration. How and why we were created, because if we were created for the reason of and the only reason to be sacrificed and to be recreated to save the greater reality of the gods. Here is three, here is one in the center. I shall put these three candles to one side and I am in the center. I put three to the other, three, one, three. That is my G. If we do not protect the universe and the universe falls and God is the creator of the universe gates of the Omega divide that keeps everything divided, that keeps it together, at the same time, we need area, space for individual life, for life that comes, that life that goes, and that life that exists. And the life that exists protects the firmament, protects the universe. The neurons that can feel is the same thing as the tips of our fingers as the feelings in our mind that goes through our heart that give us the palpitation of the scary or of the goodness or of the tears falling from our eyes. One of the reasons for this video is because um, one of my followers, Mary Dunaway, um, is about to use her name for reality. Her mind was far beyond or far beyond really understanding certain things that she can do because of what she can do. Because each individual and every one of us is going to tap into every other one, make us move away or make us go closer. But we are the, how can I say, we are the roundabout reality of if we can learn to survive and sustain amongst us all the nerve endings of the universe, then the universe can survive 
what is in the universe that hasn't been learned that will destroy everything because right now man is destroying the smallest thing in the universe that gives you and me what we can hear see and feel is what we call life what we call life but we don't need to exist but if we don't exist the creation of god of the end feeling for the universe to keep the universe going the more we continue to learn of all these infectious diseases of the universe because they can be created in the universe and therefore they have happened through a science now can it be created can somebody try to dissolve one universe so they can own the other universe through creation became all the demons and the hell of all one is trying to create the other is trying to destroy and we need to destroy to recreate so if they get rid of the guy or the person or the woman or whatever that created the universe I can own the universe it'll be my universe and I'll own everything in it but what value does it have to me how did I learn to have a value of wanting to have sustainability and owning everything how can I ever be satisfied if I was the creator other than knowing I need to satisfy myself to keep the universe alive we bring into this own certain planet games people do you see what's happening to the light why is the light not going the other way will I turn what happens if I turn this light is my candle being turned in from the light over here on the side what if I turn down the lamp what if I turn off the lamp why am I getting this ray is it the wind I have a door shut here is it the lights in front of me give me a second to go into I had the video on pause I shut off the lights and now I need to keep the grains down and have only the water pour myself a cup of coffee that has a reishi mushroom in it the name of the coffee is Lotra Mundo in honor of all I can't help you with everything nor do I have the time to help you and you and you and you even if you seek my help for whatever reason can I actually help you can you help me and do you have all the time in the world to sacrifice your life just for me just for her just for him just for them but the reality of my survival is that you do not do evil onto what is around you the ram's horn perfect for my own head perfect for my own head the ram's horn I don't want to blow it in the apartment I want to respect although it's during the day and I've heard banging up stairs all day long my candles still come in on the same angle I don't know if you can see the light can you see the light changing in my candles maybe if it was the night we can see the light give me one more second I'm closing all the lights in the apartment I want to see if I can get a secondary light inside with the candles. Maybe I'll put the video a little bit slower. Maybe I won't. But we're going to see what we get from these candles burning in front of us. Ah, back into the seat. You see the color change behind me? Anyways, these candles are still burning. I'd like to put them this way. Look what happens to my three candles. Three candles. These are my three candles. My camera, the center of my camera is here. Yet you are seeing the three candles 
over here. That's a little weird to me. Now I turn it, now it is straight, straight to what I think is straight, to what I think my camera is now straight. This is not straight. And as I turn it around, how will these candles burn? Always thinking. Now that we've spent 10 minutes into this video, I just want to end this video with something from a past video. And the past video was something I'm going to show you or not. I guess not. So that's it. Um, the candlelight, Mary Dunaway. Um, her daughter had told me that she's in the last of her days on this planet. This plain peanut. The peanuts with two nuts inside. Nut to the left. Not to the right, holding it up, not above, not below, but the nut splits in half. Round in the bottom, concaved in the center. If you slice them up, it shows V's, V's for life. The nuts, the peanuts at the ball game, the ball game is the seventh inning stretch, and in where you're in the seventh inning, but when the team comes up at the bottom of this on the bottom, they come up in the bottom, right? Bottom or top. It is the top of the seventh or it is the bottom of the seventh. And when you finish the top of the seventh inning, you have actually finished 6.5 innings. And not until you arrive at the end of the seventh inning, okay, you are either in the bottom of the seventh, you were at the bottom of the seventh, the top of the seventh. But if you've played only half of the seventh inning, you have played 6.5 innings. When it is completed in the books, the seventh inning is in the books. You have reached the heavens of the eighth inning and in the eighth inning there will be six more outs for the road team and three to six more outs for the home team because everybody knows that if the home team is leading on the after after eight and a half innings of play they do not play the bottom of the ninth and nine mean bottom not meaning bottom meaning nine and a half it means eight and a half plus Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. This light goes out to Mary. The angle of entry, the angle of descent. Even if I turn it around, I stay with the same angle of light. I want to thank you for watching this video.